welcome to yet another day in the life of switching from iPhone to Android. This time with a fully charged Galaxy Fold 4 and Watch 5 Pro charged to around 90% because of dodgy charger. But first on the schedule for today. I ran into my first switching to Android issue before my breakfast. For some reason, my gym app is really bad on Android. Google Pay crashes, I couldn't add a new card, so I had to pay with contactless, which worked just fine. I catch up on emails and messages, and this big screen is incredible for all of this. I love being able to multitask with two, three, or even four things open at once. There's even a hidden hole punch camera under the display. Oh, and the watch was awesome for a workout. It shows the average heart rate, which helps me hit my Vitality Health Insurance points, and the battery life has barely dropped. I'm actually preferring this over my Apple Watch right now. It's very, very simple. So um, we are at tw almost 12 o'clock, 10 to 12 today, and uh, we haven't used it a huge amount uh, this morning, but we're on 85% battery life. First kind of impressions in terms of like using it, I'm preferring it over the flip, just because this is more, it's just different. I think with the flip, it's kind of just like a phone that you fold in half, whereas this is like, it's a phone and it's a tablet, which I really, really like. And you kind of you get a bit more of a tablet experience when you're opening it up. And as long as you can sit down and use it, it's great. The one thing I have noticed with the, the Fold 4 over the Fold 3 is the uh, the cover screen is wider, whereas with Fold 3, it was thinner. So when I was typing messages, it's really, really difficult to type messages because you just make mistakes because it's such a thin, thin screen to type on. So that's definitely improved. And also update on the watch. My watch didn't charge in the last video I made. So that's why the battery was low we're on 86 percent of battery and we've done the workout this morning and it's doing pretty well to be fair so yeah firstly impressions impressed with the watch very very impressed with the phone although i do keep thinking it's 1700 pounds which makes me think about who would be the typical kind of purchaser of this but yeah first impressions loving it and uh, we're going to put it through its paces a bit more this afternoon see what it can do so it's been a bit of a slower morning this morning but um we are just about to shoot some thumbnails or in the middle of shooting thumbnails for this video which you're watching um maybe you might have seen some of the easter eggs we've maybe possibly even left in there for you so uh, let me know comments down below if you've seen any of those but yeah we're going to do shoot some more thumbnails now and then we're going to go off and do a bit more kind of event adventurous stuff this afternoon shoot some more photos take some videos i've got some video calls to do as well which we need to take care of and uh, this is pretty more of a kind of a worky kind of just day to day, and which, which I think reflects the device a bit more because this device I feel is a bit more of a, you probably would have it if you have like a techie job of like you're constantly doing emails and phone calls and video calls. The tablet form factor I'm finding is actually really uh, a really interesting format. So you don't need like a separate iPad. You can just have one phone that does the lot. Uh, but yeah, we're off to shoot a ton more thumbnails. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna test out the rear-facing camera now. We're shooting in portrait video mode just so you can get an idea on the audio quality as well as the video quality. I'm gonna talk about today's sponsor, Keeper. Now, one of the things I talk about all the time on this channel is how you should be using a proper password manager. And yes, you can be using the, you know, the Google Chrome password manager or the Samsung Knox password manager, but honestly, they are no way near as good as using a proper dedicated password manager like Keeper. It's one of the first apps I install on my phones to make sure that I can actually sign into all of my apps, all of my websites, everything I need with just the tap of a button. And actually I have to say with Keeper, I've been very, very impressed with using it on this phone. Any website I visit, I visit any app I try and install, uh, log into, it pops up straight away. There's no delay. I'm not hunting for the buttons, trying to sign in somewhere. It actually integrates with the whole phone really impressively. I was actually really, really surprised coming from like the iPhone uh, world. So for using Keeper, it does way, way more than just passwords. It can do things like your passport, your identity information, phone numbers, bank account information. You can store two-factor authentication codes in there as well. And it also monitors to check that your passwords are secure. They're not breached. They haven't been leaked anywhere. So honestly, if you haven't already got a, pass a proper password manager, use the links down below. There'll be a nice discount there for viewers of this video. Thank you so much to Keeper for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to it. We 
have a Pixel 6 uh, to give away, which is one of our um, newsletter prizes. So if you're not already on the newsletter, then sign up, link will be down below. I'm trying to give away a phone, or a phone or a techie device uh, every single month. Hey dude, how you doing? How you doing? You all right? Good to see you. Yeah, ah. good to see you. Well, well there we go. <laughs> Have a free Thank Pixel 6 a. My dad is in massive need of an upgrade. Oh, sweet. So I've kind of said to him that. I've got a free phone coming. Me, so. That's an awesome phone. It's a yeah. really, really good one. What do you think of the a, a flippy foldable phone? I feel like there's still some development needed, right? <laughs> to get it perfect it's, from it's what right. I'm seeing. No, if you look at. How, how have you found it? I think it's pretty good. Yeah? What's it like on like the. Like as a. Do you just get used to the. I'm not used to Android. Oh, it's just like, let's go on to like, it's, it's weird having like Instagram, like full screen, because it gets a bit oh, like yeah, silly. They've not adapted it yet. But you can do like four things at once. You want to do like that, or you can do like emails, like full thing, you can do a split screen. Yeah, you can have like five things. Uh, just like a couple of weeks. Very nice. It's you like, it? yeah. Yeah, you're moving yeah. from iPhone. Mm, you do we'll see. <laughs> I'll, pro I'll probably carry both, I think. Okay, so this was really cool. Using Xbox Cloud Gaming and the Fold 4, I could game using that full screen, albeit with black bars at the top and bottom, but I could hook up an Xbox controller via Bluetooth and play with just a small amount of lag. I really wasn't faring too well at Halo, but Forza was just fine. The only problem is that the Fold 4, of course, doesn't fit my gaming mount, which causes an issue with how to prop this thing up whilst playing. I ended up just resting on my lap, which wasn't the most comfortable. So yeah, half three in the afternoon, and we are at 59% battery. Uh, almost two hours of screen on time. So mm, it's not too bad. Two hours of screen on time and 59% battery is, is pretty good. It's pretty standard going, uh, considering how big the screen is, of course. So yeah, 59% battery on this one. And on the watch, we are 79%, which is actually barely gone down. So based on that, this watch will actually last a good few days, including like workouts and, um, uh, you know, calculating when we're doing walks and things like that. So um, yeah, actually, very impressed with the watch so far, and the uh, battery life on this has been pretty solid. There are apps like Instagram which aren't optimised yet for this device. They kind of sit in the middle of the screen like you just saw, but pretty much every other app I've seen so far has worked flawlessly on this device. Behind the scenes of a real day in the life, I've had to get the iPhone out. Mainly because when trying to pay to park here on the Android phone, my card that was on the app, on like the pay to park app, has expired and it doesn't accept Google Pay or any kind of form of Samsung Pay. Whereas you fire it up on the iPhone and Apple Pay is accepted. So we're going to have to use Apple to pay. Why? <laughs> just spent half an hour on a Microsoft Teams webinar, something I haven't done in a very long time since I have my IT business. We were up to like 30 something percent so we did before we did the webinar. My voice is almost going by the way, you can probably hear it. We're down to 19%, so that's knocked out well over 10% of the um, battery life, which I guess is quite rare you would sit there and do a half an hour long webinar kind of thing on Microsoft Teams. But yeah, I'm leaning towards this as being a very, very good device for business owners or people that kind of work techie jobs that kind of enjoy a bit of a kind of a half tablet, half um, kind of phone. It's very, very good. I, I do really, really love this phone, but it's £1,700. I always keep going back to like £1,700 and for half the price, you can still have a great like, even like the S22s, the Pixel 6, the Pixel 7 that's coming out soon as well. I just feel like th this has its place as a very good kind of productivity, doing lots of work. It's great. You can have all the tabs, you can have all the apps open, you can kind of multitask. It's a good phone. I I'm, uh, I'm enjoying it. However, I am going to need to charge it before we go out tonight. So uh, off to charge the phone. <laughs> Good on the productivity front. Mm. It's amazing, isn't it? Wow. 
walk up to the first thing. God, you can hardly see the line in the camera either. That's pretty impressive. What do you like about it and what don't you like about it? Well, obviously the big screen is amazing. It's cool that you've got a screen on the front as well. Um, oh. But I don't know if I would get a bit annoyed with having to physically open a phone all the time. I'm not really used to that because I'm, I'm a user that just tends to. But you could just use it, it like that. Yeah, so I guess yeah. you could use it like that. Yeah. But then what is the point of having uh, this? Oh my god, that's, that's, the really biggest, that's the biggest selfie I've ever seen. Oh this photo was shot on the underscreen camera. Honestly, it's not the best image quality, but when I switched to the rear facing camera, the image was so much cleaner. So whilst the underscreen camera is useful in a pinch and for video calls, it's worth taking the extra time and the extra few button taps to use the bigger cameras on the back. One thing I have always said about Android is they suffer from shutter lag, but tonight I've honestly not experienced any lag at all. Perhaps it's more obvious when put side by side with an iPhone, but for tonight, I just wanted to enjoy the company and take a few snaps from the beautiful Portsmouth Harbour and Spinnaker Tower. These videos are shot using the camera on the front screen to show you a bit of the low light performance. What do you think? Well, let me know down below. You do get better results when using the rear facing cameras, but it can be quite fiddly to open the device up, tap to turn the cover screen on, then tap to use the proper cameras. But still, this photo was shot on the front facing camera and it's not that bad given the lighting conditions. And these shots were on the rear facing camera, which you can tell just the quality is so much better. I am actually debating right now whether I switch to this phone permanently. I normally carry around my Pixel 6 Pro, but this form factor, like the ability to have a phone and a tablet that actually multitasks better than an iPad. Wow, it's, it's really something. That has been a day in the life with the Fold 4. So we are now at 10 p.m. almost. We might be able to get into my car because I have 1% battery left. <laughs> this might be interesting. Can we get in? Hey, we're good. <laughs>